Hi there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna give you some information about my trip to Costa Rica, Central America. But first, some background information. Costa Rica is neighbored by Panama and Nicaragua, and it is a Spanish-speaking country, as are its two neighbors. The most recent population estimate on CIA.gov places its population at 5.2 million people. Costa Rica is also known as one of the most biodiverse countries in the world for its flora, fauna, and species of animals, its diversity in those areas. The climate is tropical as well as subtropical, and its average temperature ranges between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. For all intents and purposes, there are only two seasons in Costa Rica, a dry season and a wet season. The wet season ranges between the months of May and November, and the dry season ranges between December and April. But there really is no bad time to visit Costa Rica. It is also bordered by the, by the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean, so you have beaches on both sides of the country. The capital of Costa Rica is San Jose. This is the business capital, and this is where I stayed during my trip during the wet season instead of staying along the coast at one of the beaches. And I stayed at the Hotel Grand de Oro, which is the number one hotel in San Jose on many different sites. I'm showing you here on TripAdvisor how it's the best of 99 different hotels in the area. So the Hotel Grano de Oro, what can I say? Oh my gosh. First of all, the customer service, the room, the food, everything was amazing. I stayed in a deluxe room that had a mini garden off of its um, atrium kind of style. So there was a little uh, water fountain that bubbled and you can turn on the lights at night and leave it open. Of course, you may encounter some mosquitoes there in the evening, but during the day, it was pretty well a beautiful breeze coming through. You left the doors unlocked. I mean, you left the doors wide open and you just listened to the bubbling brook sound of the waterfall and enjoyed the scenery of feeling like you're in your own mini rainforest. <laughs> There was fresh local fruit and flowers placed in the room so that you can partake if you came on a long flight. There were also fresh flowers in the lobby area, beautiful artwork on the walls, and it just smelled divine. It felt very calming. It felt very luxe. It felt very high end i mean i just i just felt like i was in heaven really it, it 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 was not a very expensive stay when you consider all that you got and then there was this courtyard area and you can request a room that opens up into the courtyard area um which is like a garden area it had uh, benches where you can sit it was a larger version of the mini rainforest that you got that i got in the deluxe room so you you can perhaps see faint images of doors that were off of this area because there were rooms leading into this area so you shared this courtyard with a number of different rooms and then the weirdest most beautiful thing there is an interior fountain in the hallway as you're walking from the lobby to your rooms or vice versa back from your room to the lobby just a bubbling fountain in the middle of the of the hallway. Again, just all of nature all around you. You saw the scenery of the green, you heard the water. It rained, yes, but it didn't rain all of the time. There was a rooftop area where you can sit and eat or um, have a drink and there were two hot tubs. There is a also uh, um, 
an exercise area off of that rooftop rooftop area and it was just lovely it was just beautiful just nature all around you Now we're getting to the good stuff. There's a private dining area upstairs off of the main dining area where some of the locals had their private celebrations. I saw like a quinceanera or something was going on um, and there seemed like to be a rehearsal party that was also happening. This is a picture of the main dining area. I mean, white cloth service all around. All of the drinks every single night was amazing. I think I spent five nights there. This is a burrata. Uh, with a like a crispy crunchy uh, tomato on top the soups oh my gosh every single night the soup was amazing and i mean i ate well this is absinthe yes i tried absinthe while i was there as well but um i had four courses pretty much every night there was an aperitivo and then the 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 appetizer and the main course and I always had dessert of course bread pudding with some ice cream on top my favorite and then an after dinner drink of port my favorite as well my favorite after dinner drink had to have that sangria was fresh and made with great fruit but I highly recommend this hotel you guys if you go to Costa Rica stay here you will not regret it 